This week on GVTV, we have our interviews for our girls varsity tennis team, our varsity cross country team, our varsity volleyball team, and our local town fair. Hey Eagles, I'm your GVTV news anchor host, Ty Williams. And I'm Brock Smith. Let's get into this week's news. Your books are on sale for $70 each. See Miss Kennedy in room 505 for more information. FCCLA is having their first meeting today, September 14th at 235 in room 420, which is Miss Lane's room. If you're interested in joining or have any questions, see Miss Mullott or Miss Lane. Rafe and Styles interviewed a couple of freshmen, Gabe and Abram, asked them about adjusting to their new environment. What are your thoughts on Grand Valley so far? So far, it's fine. I mean, don't really have much troubles. It's way more better than Nevada, though. Okay, that's good. Is high school hard so far? No, not really. So I, I'm waiting until it gets hard, but so far, just fine. What is your How's favorite like, class and why? My favorite class has to be gym because I play football and I got to get stronger in order to be able to play. So. Well, Gabe, um, I'm glad that you're having a great time here and that things aren't really hard for you yet. And um, we hope to see you next Valley, time. Buddy. I'm Lexi Gonzalez. And I'm Ray Graham. And today we're here with Lexi's brother, Avery Gonzalez. So, Avery, how are you liking high school so far? It's really fun. It's a lot different than middle school. So, Avery, what is your favorite class and why? Definitely Mr. Bull Civics class because it's really fun. Thank you for your time today, Abram. I'll see you at home. See, see you, you later, Eagles. Eagles. Thank you, Rafe and Styles. Girls Tennis had their first tournament a couple weeks ago. Here's Mia and JC interviewing a couple players. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm here with Emma and Finley. So, Emma, how do you think the season's looking? Uh, the season's looking pretty good. We got a good variety of players. Uh, we're all excited, you know, uh, to get stuff done and to hopefully go back to state as a team and as individuals. All right, thank you. So, Finley, how was the tournament in Joplin? Uh, it was pretty good. We placed fifth out of 16 teams, so that was good. And overall, we played pretty great, so I'm excited to see what the season holds. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you, me and JC. The fair was this weekend. Savannah went to interview a few people about what they thought about the fair. Over to you. Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm Valeria. And today we are at the Grain Valley Fair. So what is your, what are you eating right now? What do you have? So I have a dessert nacho. Awesome, is it good? It's sweet. Very sweet, yeah, I'm sure. All right, and so are you here working? I am here working with Continental Siding, as you can see. Uh, we got our, our tent set up over here, and uh, we're having discounts and sales on siding, windows, and doors. Awesome. So why does your company choose to come to the Grain Valley Fair? We come to fairs and events for marketing and uh, business purposes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your time. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> thank you. Hi guys, what's your name? Peyton. Lila. All right, nice to meet you guys. Have you guys gotten any fair snacks or like what's your favorite stand so far? Well, I like to get the root beer because it's really good. Oh, that's awesome. I like their soap because it smells really good. Oh yeah, that's super cool. All right, so do you guys plan on riding any rides tonight? Well, I plan on going on the mine winder. Oh. Because it looks pretty fun. Yeah, awesome. How about you? I don't plan on going any because they're expensive. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy your night. Thank you, Savannah. Our next home football game is Friday, September 16th against Platt County. The theme is USA. Kickoff is at 7. Boys basketball is having preseason workouts slash open gym at 6 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays and every day after school. If you have any questions, make sure to see Coach Herbert in the A-plus office across the hall from the fishbowl. On August 30th, Cross Country had their first meet here at the high school. The girls cross country team claimed the team title having 10 girls placed in the top 15. Over to Charlie interviewing a cross country runner. So Coach Small, how is this season going for you? It's going really well. Um, we have one of the larger teams uh, that we've had in our program's history. Um, and just kind of seeing the progress that kids have made has been pretty exciting. Uh, we just got to crunch some numbers based on the first meet that we had and the number of kids that have progressed from last year to this year is, is kind of incredible. Um, and so that's just a testament to the work that they put in every day and um, kind of their dedication to what we do. That's awesome. So Coach Small, what would you say to kids who are currently interested in joining cross country? Yeah, uh, we have a lot of kids that come to us with interest all the time about what, what the heck is it that you guys do. Um, I would just say to those kids, like, We'd love to have you. We'd love to get you on board um, with the, the training plans and things. We start you out pretty easy. 
Um, it's nothing crazy. We maybe four or five minutes um, of, of running. We just go based on what you can handle. And so um, you know, we're always looking to grow our team. And um, like I said, we've had pretty good numbers, but we can never have enough. So uh, we'd love to have you out. And if cross country is not your thing, the track's right around the corner, and we'd love to have you join us there too. Thank you, Charlie, and good job, girls. Volleyball has started off. They are 3-2 and two this season so far. Haley interviewed the head varsity coach, Coach Squires, about this year's season. Over to you. Hey, guys, it's Haley and Olivia, and we interviewed the volleyball coaches about the upcoming season. Let's check it out. This season, I really look forward to playing some bigger schools. Uh, I think that I am very excited, though, for postseason, as any coach always is. Um, but, you know, it's just fun to watch the girls make memories together, too. My favorite part of coaching is definitely the difference that I get to make in the individual lives of my athletes. I love teaching them life skills on and off the court. And in addition to that, I love the relationships that I get to make with uh, the athletes themselves. I'm excited about the new conference. I think it brings, for the volleyball section, it brings a little bit more competition into it. And I think that we still have a good chance of taking the lead, uh, I hope that we can just continue to work for it. Well, our word this year is to be devoted. So that's being devoted to everything you do. And it goes beyond the court. So being devoted in your studies, being devoted in everything that you're doing on the court, being communicative with other people. So that is our key word this season. And finally on the schedule is the ACT sign up. The October ACT is October 22nd. The registration deadline is on September 16th, and the December ACT is on December 10th. Don't forget to get signed up at ACT.org. If you have any questions, ask your Eagle Time teacher. Thank you all for joining us this week on GVTV. Make sure to follow us on all of our social medias at GVHS Eagle Media. And I'm Brock Smith. And I'm Ty Williams. See you guys next time.